So we're back in the station now, we've got the power applied, the aerials up and we're ready to roll. This headset is the logging operator headset and the logging operator normally sits at this desk. So we're going to uh, push the on button and the first thing you'll hear is the alarm going on the console behind me which tells me that the um, exciter is not locked. There you go. And we're going to cancel that alarm by pressing the alarm cancel button. Next we're going to turn on the heaters for the PA. These take approximately 15 minutes to uh, come into service. Now one of the clever things about this station is that the aerials are tuned to resonance by forming a bridge between the exciter, the antenna and the main receiver. When it's in tune mode the exciter provides 30 millivolts of dry power uh, into the bridge and the receiver is used as a detector to tell us when the aerials reach 75 ohms. Now in order to use that facility I have to turn off the AGC and apply 30 dBs of attenuation. Next thing we have to do is to check that the exciter is on the same frequency as the receiver and then press the load button and you'll see the ready to use lamp coming on. This is a close up of the aerial selection panel for VHF we have the whip, which is a 4 meter whip, we have the log periodic antenna, or we have the wideband dipole. If we want to transmit and receive using the same antenna, we have to press one of the diplexer buttons, which is either VHF or HF. These are the VHF aerial selections. Again, we've got the whips, the inverted Vs, the T-shaped aerials, and the D-shaped aerials. D's are folded dipoles and T's are open dipoles where the end of the dipole is at the same height as the centre. Where obviously inverted V's can be either at ground level or at sky level. This AN uh, is the uh, active antenna on the roof. So we're going to select the V antenna and uh, look at the tuning arrangements. So we switch on the uh, exciter here and in the meter you can see we have power so try and refocus that the uh, numbers in the indicators here are just the relative positions of the uh, tune and load of the uh, tuning assembly we've got 30 dbs of attenuation in and we're going to start looking for a dip in that meter you see it's, uh, it's gone down. We're going to drop the attenuation a little so we can see it and just make sure we've got a peak. And that looks to be about the best. So we're going to turn off the exciter in tune mode on these buttons we've got a memory load, we've got working, tuning, remote control and uh, a fail reset. So we're now going to put it in working mode and we're going to press the button to put HTs onto the PA and uh, when the timer has elapsed uh, HTs will become available and the station will come into operation. So there you go, the HT is on and uh, we're all tuned up, ready to put out some calls. The uh, PTT is this uh, bar on the floor, press to talk, or should I said tread to talk, and uh, we seem to have a clear frequency at the moment, 7.1 megahertz. So let's put a call out and see uh, who comes back.
Roger Roger, Oscar November 7, Tango Whiskey Alpha from G4 PMY. Handle this end is Joe, Juliet, Oscar, Echo. And we're operating from RAF Hack Green, Hack Green in the county of Cheshire. This radio station is a Russian military station built on a ZIL 131 truck and the station is an R161 GERT. You're 5 and 9 with uh, QRM on the side and I'm just making a little video clip for YouTube uh, to put on uh, about this station GERT. I hope you don't mind if this QSO ends up on YouTube. Back to you my friend, ON7 TWA from G4 PMY. <laughs> Thank you.